I'm Tiffany Faith reporting from Liberty University. I hope you're all enjoying the game. I'm here with the executive producer and two of the cast members from the new feature film Finding Faith. I'm here with Sheriff Mike Brown, Stephanie Betcher, and Eric Estrada. So Sheriff, can you first tell me about the, um, the Safe Surfing Foundation? Yeah, I'd be delighted to. Uh, the Safe Surfing Foundation is a 501c3 foundation that provides educational material, safe, uh, internet safety material to uh, teachers, uh, civic groups, uh, law enforcement, anybody that would uh, care to find out more about the, the dangers of the internet. Uh, and there are numerous dangers involved with the internet. Uh, but that's, that's what the Safe Surfing Foundation, it, it, it came, uh, it, it, we initially started with a task force, we are a task force, a federal task force in Bedford County, Virginia, attached to the Sheriff's Office uh, that was funded in 1998 uh, by the Congress of the United States uh, to form a task force to actually uh, go online uh, and search out the sexual predators that use the internet to track their next victims or to lure their next victims a child. And so we've been in this business for about f uh, 13, going on 14 years uh, of tracking predators and we've put a lot of predators in jail. Uh, a lot of them are still in jail uh, where they should be. Uh, but the Safe Surfing Foundation uh, was an offshoot of the task force, Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Uh, the federal government gave us money to put predators in jail to do investigations, but they failed to give us funding for just developing safety information for children and for parents. Uh, so the foundation, uh, like I say, came, came around as a part of uh, that, uh, that operation. Was there any specific event that prompted its startup or? Well, the Congress of the United States uh, had had a number of uh, complaints, uh, people calling in saying, hey, my, uh, my, my child is getting uh, uh, messages, uh, inappropriate pictures, so forth, over the Internet and from uh, people on the Internet. And this came from all over the country, not just uh, one particular area, not say Lynchburg or Bedford, it came from all over the country. Uh, the congressmen were getting deluged with complaints about the internet and the predators that were using the internet to locate their next victim, a child. Uh, and I, I'm, not ex I'm not real sure who uh, first, you know, brought the matter to, uh, to, to Congress, but it was uh, an out offshoot of a congressional committee involved in the criminal justice field. Uh, so that's, that's the way it came. It wasn't any one particular act, but it was a, 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 number, of, a number of acts that caused them to realize that the Internet was being used uh, for nefarious purposes and, and certainly getting away from the, uh, the original intent uh, of the Internet. And, and it's, it's one of the greatest communications mediums that we'll ever see. Mm -hmm. But it also has a dark side. It's got a very, very dark side, and it's getting darker. Well, it's really fantastic that the foundation has been a success so far. Well, it has, uh, Tiffany. It has been a great success. Uh, one of the uh, one of the reasons is because of the gentleman sitting to my left, uh, Eric Estrada. Uh, he brought a lot of notoriety too. We've had other uh, uh, celebrities that were a part of it: Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Kathy Ireland, uh, who Eric brought uh, to the table. Uh, a number of. Uh, of celebrities, and we uh, we've just picked up some uh, NASCAR uh, wow. celebrity. I can't tell you who it is right now because yeah. it still hasn't been approved. <laughs> uh, and we've got uh, hopefully some. Um, well, I can tell you, Jason Crabb is going to be a uh, uh, supporter, wow. and I'll be I'll be with Jason Crabb on the 14th of February, uh, Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> and instead of giving him a valentine, I'm going to give him a uh, certificate saying that he's uh, sworn in as a, as a deputy sheriff with the uh, Bedford County Sheriff's Office. Well, so he's very excited about being a part of the effort. And it, you, you may you may not know, one of his songs is on the, uh, the film. Oh, that's great. Well, Eric and Stephanie, a couple questions for you both. Um, how did you first hear about the film? Do you want me to talk? All right. Well, I had heard that they were doing auditions through 
on, um, online Liberty's site. Okay. And then Jonathan Falwell announced it at Thomas Road. I go there and he announced it one Sunday. And so they were, I was just like, well, I go audition. And so I did. And that kind of just started the whole process from there. That's so cool. How about you? Uh, Jason, <coughs> excuse me, Jason Campbell gave me a call. And he says, uh, how would you, would you be interested in being in a film? Lend your name, celebrity to a film based on a case of a girl who was posted a picture of herself on a smartphone and the bad guy looked at it and said, mm, I could sell that and took her. And this, and so I said, well, yeah, the, and, and would it help Safe Surfing? Because Safe Surfing program, I mean, I want to do what the sheriff started. I want to get it everywhere in every school in this country. Education is the best prevention for a child. It needs to be done. Um, he said, I said, well, uh, can we put the message out there? How are we gonna shoot it? What's your idea? What, are you gonna make it so that we can teach children while they watch it what not to do? And he said, absolutely. And I said, well, okay, well, let's give it a shot and let's do it. What prompted you two to um, start up? Did you really wanna see a change um, happen through this film, like just public awareness? Well, the public needs to be informed of what's going on. You know, sooner or later, this government has got to declare war on the internet, just like they did with cocaine when it was a powder, it was acceptable behavior. When it turned to crack, they brought the gangs out and brought the guns out, and people were getting whacked. And for two bucks, you can hook anybody. When you started hooking the kids that were senators' children and judges' children and, 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 and law, law, lawmakers' children, that's when they said, no, 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 not my child, not my grandchild, not my niece or nephew. They declare war on it. What do we have? Let's not wait. We make movies like this where we're informative, real, real causes, real issues. Like he said, it's dark. The bad guy is just a click away, and he's in your phone. He's in your living room. He's in your house. He's on your computer. And they, these guys, are, they're slick, they're nasty, and they groom and wine and dine children. And children need to be taught what not to do. And we have a great program. That's what Safe Surfing is doing now, it's educating. Yeah, they really need to be more aware. That yes. would definitely help out. It needs to be done. I well, was excited. Oh, 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 go ahead. I was excited to audition because of the faith-based message of the film. And then yeah. I found out about all this. You know, I had heard on the news about sex predators and all that kind of thing. But in my mind, it was kind of like, yeah, that's a big issue in other countries. But no, it's <laughs> right here. It's, it's here. happening in Lynchburg. It's happening everywhere. And so just finding out how much of an impact the film can have everywhere in America and in our hometown, you know, that really got me excited. Absolutely. And just letting everybody know, you mm -hmm. know, when it gets out there. Well, um, Sheriff, when Jason Campbell came to you with the idea for the film, um, what were your initial thoughts? Um, you got to be smoking something. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew he wasn't. Mm -hmm. But it's really, in fact, Eric will tell you, I, I we spoke with him, what, five, six years ago, once you when he first came on uh, as, a, as, a, as a national spokesperson, I, I spoke to him about, I've always wanted to do, I know the, 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 how powerful the media, the, the film industry, TV, movies can be. I mean, it's very, very powerful. Uh, and I, 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 I've always wanted to do a, a story, uh, reference this, this problem. And when Jason, we, we had talked about it several times, and then Jason came to me and said, listen, let's, let's, let's do it. And, and I, I, it was January the 13th mm -hmm. of, of last year, uh, one year this past uh, the 13th. Yeah. And he said, let's do it. And I said, well, okay, give me some ideas. And he came back and he, uh, he had some ideas. Number one, which I, I wouldn't have had anybody else do it, uh, is to get Eric on board and, and hopefully some other actors that we, we know. Uh, and that, it just, it grew. It, it grew. It, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an area, I can tell you, I have, and, and, and Eric was talking about how, how dark it's beginning to get, and, and how, how dark it is. I mean, not just beginning to get, it already is, but I retired from federal service. I was a federal agent. I worked in Central America, South America, the Caribbean. I worked a little bit in Europe. But I thought I had seen every act or every case of man's inhumanity to man. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't seen, I, I was sorely mistaken until I saw what was happening to kids and to children as young as two, two, two years old, three years old, four years old. 
it is just it's, decent people have no idea what is happening to children on the internet, or what is happening to children involved in the child pornography industry. Uh, right now, gangs in Eastern Europe, some of the Eastern Bloc countries, they are getting out of drugs and going into child pornography. They are actually buying um, uh, child orphanages and turning them into child porn studios. That's how bad it's getting and how bad it is. Now, a lot of uh, used to that most of the child porn was coming from the Scandinavian countries, a number of the Scandinavian countries, some of the Southeast Asian countries. But now it's just as prevalent here in the United States as it is in some of these other countries. But in the Eastern Bloc countries, it, it, has, it has really taken off. And again, the gangs are getting out of drugs because the drugs in some of the Eastern Bloc countries, a lot of the Eastern Bloc countries, they're getting a lot of time. Uh, they're being sentenced, uh, the fines are uh, great, the uh, prison sentences are great. Child pornography is not. So they, they are making more money in child pornography than they are in selling drugs. That's how bad it's getting. You, you would not, decent people, you, you, you just have no idea. Well, this will give you an idea. The new thing on the street that we're dealing with is rape on tape of a young 12-year-old girl, boy. That's the new stuff. Big seller. Well, you've, I'm sure, done um, film projects before, but what makes this one really unique for you? Because I care. Yeah. I was a child. I was never sexually <laughs> abused, but abuse is abuse. And when you take a child and, and they're that young, and you take their innocence in such a way, he said, two-year-old, I've seen eight-month-old baby girls because I've done the work. I'm an officer here. Yeah. and. Uh, it's really nasty, and the pub general public has no idea. With these kind of movies, we can inform families, mothers, fathers, because when the child's innocence is taken, they never get it back, and their life is totally dysfunctional. Well, Stephanie, what is this like for you, being your first feature film? Uh, it's an awesome experience, and I mean, just the acting side of it or whatever, that's awesome, but the message behind it is really what's going to keep this thing going, mm -hmm. and, um, and God's going to bless that and honor that, and so I'm just excited to be a part of something so much bigger than me, you know, and so much bigger than any of us right here. That's right. Do you uh, plan to continue any of this in your career life, you think? Yeah, I'd love to do more. <laughs> if yeah. God opens the door, sure. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, well... This type of project um, touches on a very important issue, and that is sex trafficking. Do you um, hope to see this really open the door to the public and really, really make a difference? Which one you want me to take it? Well, yeah, sex trafficking, it, it, it's all bundled into one, uh, one big ball. I mean, the child pornography, the sex trafficking, uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's beginning to see the light of day uh, now in this country. Um, some of the Eastern Bloc countries are still, it's not seeing. A lot of the uh, sex trafficking, it starts here and they're taken to other countries. The same with other countries, uh, Southeast Asia, there are a lot of Southeast Asian, uh, Vietnamese, uh, uh, Chinese, Koreans, uh, 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 Taiwanese, they, they, they promise them the world. They, they uh, promise them all sorts of uh, money. Uh, a wonderful life, and everybody knows about the United States. Everybody curses us and damns us, but everybody wants to come here. Mm -hmm. And so these gal, these, 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 and they are, they're all gal, they're all women, ladies, they are no different. They see this opportunity, and they, they are coming for uh, sort of an innocuous type position of housekeeper, a babysitter, a nanny, or something like that. Well, it turns out it's just the opposite. They, what they are putting themselves into is a is a life of sexual uh, deprivation, uh, prostitution, and so forth. And it's 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 like I say it is seeing it's getting a lot more publicity right now than than it did for a number of years. But uh, this all ro it all rolls into one. It's it's one big issue, the child pornography. Uh, it's it's big money, uh, sex slavery. Uh, again, big money, large, uh, lots of money. And as I say, in some of the Eastern Bloc countries, the drugs, the, guy, the, the gangs are getting out of drugs and going into child pornography and sex slavery, too. Wow. Well, any final thoughts you'd like to leave with us? 
Uh, other than, again, my, my thoughts to, to Eric, Stephanie, for, for being a part of this, uh, I, I think it, the, the film, I think, is going to reach a lot of, uh, of, of parents, uh, grandparents, too. We had a lot of grandparents at the uh, premiere on Saturday night. Uh, they were very interested in what they could do to help their grandchildren. Uh, I mean, the, the parents were there, too, but uh, the, the people that, that see it, uh, talk about it, um, talk to their churches, uh, get a copy of the, DV, of the DVD and, and, and play it, uh, talk to their children about uh, the parents and grandparents too and teachers talk, talk to their students about the problems of the internet. I mean, we're getting it's, it's kids as young as first grade, second grade on the internet. Mm -hmm. Some of the schools, they take them in, they, you know, they own the internet. Well, that's great, but tell them there's, a, there's, there's certainly, you don't want to scare them, yeah. but you want, to, you want for them to realize that there's a problem out there. There are bad people in this world and the bad people that will take advantage of them if they get a chance and they have to have a certain level of safety and security in their life and in their dealings on the internet. And that's, uh, that, that's what we hope this film will, uh, will take to the, uh, to, to the audiences in general. And I think it has. Uh, Eric has been and Stephanie has been in these audiences yeah, for the last, since Saturday. Saturday. Tremendous reaction. Yeah. And, th and they, uh, I mean, everybody is interested, right? Yeah. And what everybody kind of is feedback? surprised. We're getting calls from around the country, churches around the country that wants us want to see the movie. We got a great call today from Chattanooga. We're heading in that direction anyway on the 15th of uh, February. We're going to Tennessee, but we got a call. We just added another church. Mm -hmm. And there's over 3,000 churches. And we, I, yeah, and we plan to take them to all of them. Nationally, you want it to yeah. be nationally known? Yeah, before, be, we want to four-wall the movie. I don't want to give it to a distributor who will give us a, a million bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not about that bread, it's about the message. So w I'd rather take it to these churches and show up every night and yeah. do autographs and do the whole thing because I want as many people to see it as possible. You give it to a distributor, they'll put it on the street, yeah, they'll put it in the theater, maybe for a week, and then it's done. If it doesn't make any money, they put it away. Who's seen it? We didn't make it for that, we made it to be seen. Wow. So what kind of feedback did you get at the premiere? Oh, wow. Audience wow. loved it. They loved it, yeah. yeah. Well, no. I got a little girl, uh, yesterday we, in Yorktown, we were in, uh, where was I, yes? I don't know yeah, where I am at. Yorktown. Yorktown. <laughs> we, uh, we had a little girl came up with her mother, and I said, did you like the movie? She said, uh-huh. I said, well, did, did it scare you? She says, yeah. I said, oh, so what are you going to do? She says, well, I'm going to get off Instagram right away. Instagram. <laughs> Good for her. This is a little girl. Insta I, I don't even do Instagram. Uh, and, and, and then her sister said, and I'm going to get off Facebook no more. And, uh, and then I get mothers that will come up to me and they'll say, you know, I was abused when I was a child mm -hmm. and I'm still going to therapy. They never get it back once it's taken like that. You know, they get it back. I've had a couple people that were involved with it. One lady came up to me a couple nights ago and she said that she, she was a victim of it. And, and she said it was so real to, and it really hit home with her. And then I talked to a guy, his dad was a predator. And um, he said that it, it was so realistic the way it was portrayed and he just, and he was, they're both so thankful that we're getting this message out because they've been hurt so much by it and they won't, don't want it to happen anymore. You don't even realize how prevalent it is until you hear oh, all these testimonies. Yeah. The general public has no clue. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's something that has, it has run underneath the, 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 the waters of society for, for so long. Uh, it's, it's like, uh, well, we don't want to talk about it. We say, well, we need to talk to you about child pornography. I mean, it, and, and, oh, I don't want to hear about it. I, no, 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 no. I, I just don't want to hear about it. Well, you better hear about it because, you know, it could be your kid. It could be your grandchild uh, that's, that's drawn into this web. And it's, uh, it's a very vicious and it's a very dark web. Mm -hmm. But the people that see it, I know you're going to play it over the, the weekend at the, at the hockey game. You know, just, you know, I hope they will, uh, you know, take what they're seeing, the comments that we've made, and go back to their churches or to their groups and say, hey, this is something we've got to be a part of. Let, let's be a part of it. Let's get in touch with the Safe Surfing Foundation or, or the church, uh, uh, Thomas Road or, or Liberty University. Anybody can tell them who we are. Yep. Uh, they, they, they've, they've been great to us. We, we couldn't have made it without them. Yeah. I mean, we absolutely right. couldn't have made it without them. Right. 
uh, and they have, uh, Jerry Jr., uh, Jonathan, they are both big supporters of us. Uh, Dr. Falwell was a big supporter of mine personally and of the Safe Surfing Foundation mm -hmm. uh, when he was here. He was one of the first, uh, I don't know if you remember the Listen America that he, uh, it was a TV show that he had, I think it was once or twice a month. Mm -hmm. And we, we were on it, I was on it several times, that he was just one of the biggest supporters that we, that we could have had. And, uh, and so are his sons. So, um, thank you for having us. You yeah, know, we, we're, we're glad to, to be here and glad to spread the word and hopefully it just keeps the rolling. And education is the best prevention. Well, I wish you all the best of luck and success with this. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank Thank